Hey, what's up guys? Rob here from Movie Review Time and I am back with another movie review. Another title from 2019. We are going to talk about the Banana Splits movie. Tra la 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 la, tra la 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 la. I gotta be honest with you, <clears throat> I knew nothing about this movie. I didn't even see the trailer. I didn't even know this movie existed. It is a 2019 American comedy horror film directed by Danishka Esterhazy, or what I, I guess that's how you say it. I probably butchered the name. But it's based on the 1968 Hanna Barbera children's TV series of the same name. Uh, a lot of people compare this to Five Nights at Freddy's, or Five Nights at Freddy's, sorry, the video game. Um, to me, it's almost like Chuck E. Cheese. If you guys have ever heard of Chuck E. Cheese, where a kid can be a kid, this that's what this reminds me of for some reason. Because it had the, you know, the bears and the costumes on stage singing a song while you're eating pizza. That's what this reminds me of. Uh, I guess there is a Banana Splits in Hocus Pocus Park live action film and animated in 1972. I have never seen that. Um, it's got a simple story to it, though. A family attending a live taping of the Banana Splits TV series. Um, they try to survive when the TV characters or the Banana Splits themselves go haywire. Uh, because they learn that the show has been cancelled. So these things start to kill people because of that. Um, and it all takes place in a studio, which is kind of cool. But it's weird. Like, I knew nothing about these things. Like, are these people dressed up in these costumes, or what are they? Sort of in the beginning, you are kind of led to believe that they're robots. Uh, because one of the banana splits actually gets him right there actually gets plugged into this machine and I'm like wait what's going on here like I knew nothing about this I'm like what are these things so they're machines this guy builds them for the show and they end up going haywire because they learn that you know this this dick manager guy wants to cancel the show even though it has high ratings um, it's a guy you would love to kill, <laughs> a guy you would love to hate, actually. That's the whole point. But they learn that this guy wants to uh, cancel. And so they start killing everybody that's that's a part of the audience. And then there's this boy who loves the banana splits. And he, you know, he's trying to escape with his, with his mom and his family. And he has a very close... Um, relationship with one of them I believe it's I don't think it's yeah it's the elephant I believe um, but it is pretty good I really enjoyed the comedy there is actually a side story with the father uh, he's ha he's having an affair which just is kind of stupid it, it doesn't I don't know I guess it just makes the characters more human I guess and you know uh, it's more lifelike, you know, because it's like always, it's either the mother who's cheating or it's the husband who's cheating. Or, you know, the wife is cheating or the husband. Uh, but in this case, it's the husband who's talking to someone on the phone and it makes the, uh, the, the, the mother stronger in this because of that and stuff. It just, that really didn't need to be in the movie, but it just added something else, I guess. But yeah, these are robots. They're, you know, you can see them with the axe. They do all this stuff to these people. They, you know, chop this guy in half and um, just a bunch of stuff. And I love the effects. I thought the effects were really good. It just You just can't get used to seeing um, guys like this killing people and, and showing, you know, because it is a horror film. But, yeah, it does remind me of Five Nights at Freddy's, the video game with the, with the you know, the animals uh, trying to get into the room to kill you and stuff like that. This movie got good reviews mostly positive reviews <clears throat> i mean like i said i didn't know anything about it till i started seeing people reviewing the film and i'm like wow this actually looks pretty interesting and it is it's interesting it's a good flick i wouldn't say it's the greatest thing i wouldn't say it's the best horror comedy but i definitely think it's worth watching for sure um and it was really cheap when I bought it. And actually, for a new release, it was it was cheaper than some of the other ones. 
But yeah, that's the basic plot. They're around the studio, they're running from these things, and they're trying to kill them because of the show cancellation. And, uh, you know, they have to try to escape the studio and escape these these um, these banana split robots. Um, so yeah, it's a good time. This is definitely a lot of fun. Um, definitely some good gore and things like that. So that's pretty much it with this movie. Um, I believe it's 86 minutes, the runtime. So it, it actually didn't feel long at all. This movie had pretty good pacing, but it, it just seemed like once they got to the studio, it flew by. It really did. Um, anyway, what'd you guys think of the Banana Splits movie? Let me know in the comments. Um, where would you rank this on your list of 2019 films? Would you put it in your top 10 or would you make it an honorable mention? Or would you not even put it on there? Um, I hope you guys are enjoying my channel. Uh, like I said, I've been catching up with a lot of these reviews that I've been wanting to do. And uh, now I'm finally getting to them. So, hope you guys enjoy. I'll be back with more movie reviews and more videos. Uh, so this is Rob signing off. And I'll see you guys in the next one.